Hey folks, welcome to The Ramble. Happy New Year! It's anyone's guess whether 2018 will go down in history as a good year or a bad year, but it does have potential to at least be a very interesting year. And here's just one reason why. It's been over 45 years since humans last visited the moon. And this year, 2018, will see the 50th anniversary of the first time humans traveled to the moon. What better time for a return trip? And the thing is, it might actually happen. SpaceX, the aerospace company founded by possible aspiring Superman villain Elon Musk, is planning to fly two people to the moon and back later this year in a mission that looks very similar to the historic flight of Apollo 8 that took place in December 1968. There will be no lunar landing. The spacecraft will fly to the moon, loop around, and return to Earth. From blast-off to splash-down, the whole trip should take about a week. That's if it happens, and I must confess, despite how awesome I think it would be to see humans return to the moon in 2018, even if it was just for a glorified sightseeing cruise, I have my doubts. The most glaring cause for concern regarding this mission is the fact that neither the spacecraft that will carry these passengers to the moon, nor the rocket that will propel that spacecraft to the moon has been tested. Even if this mission takes place at the very end of the year, that is now less than 12 months away. An ambitious schedule, to say the least. First, let's examine the spacecraft that SpaceX intends to use to fly its lunar tourists to the moon and back. It's called the Dragon 2. It's a human-rated version of the Dragon spacecraft that SpaceX has been using to transport cargo up to the International Space Station since 2012. While the original cargo-carrying version of the Dragon has proven itself to be a reliable and reusable craft, the Dragon 2 has yet to fly in space at all, with or without a crew. If they stick to the current schedule, the Dragon 2's first orbital test flight will be an uncrewed mission to the ISS in April. Another flight to the ISS, this time with astronauts aboard, will then take place in July. Now, that alone should be enough to discourage anyone from planning their return to the moon party quite yet. Let's say that SpaceX's lunar tourism mission takes place around the same time of year as Apollo 8, late December. That's still less than six months since the Dragon 2 will have had its first crewed spaceflight ever. Even if the test flight goes smoothly and the Dragon 2 performs 100% as expected, that's still a tiny window of time in which to get ready for a round trip to the moon. And the untested spacecraft is only half the problem. Now let's talk about the launch vehicle. The rocket SpaceX has designed to lift humans into Earth orbit and beyond is called the Falcon Heavy. It's 70 meters tall, that's about 230 feet, and weighs 1.4 million kilograms, that's over 3 million pounds. It's significantly smaller than the Saturn V rocket, which carried Apollo astronauts to the moon, and has less than half the Saturn V's payload capacity, but it should still have enough power to do the job. Here's what the Falcon Heavy looked like the first time it was raised vertical on the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. And, by the way, that photograph was taken four days ago. Not only has the Falcon Heavy never once flown, it hadn't even been placed on the launch pad until last week. The first test launch is scheduled for later this month. The payload for that test launch will include a Tesla Roadster belonging to Elon Musk himself, demonstrating that he may not have perfected his rocket, but he's got that eccentric billionaire gimmick down to a T. But even if that first test launch does occur this month and is a success, which even Elon Musk himself cautions it might not be, the development of the Falcon Heavy leading up to that test has been fraught with delays. The first test launch was originally scheduled to take place in 2013 or 2014, then it was pushed back to 2015, then it was pushed back to 2016. Are you detecting a pattern? It was most recently scheduled to take place in November 2017. Obviously, that didn't happen, and it was pushed yet again, this time to January 2018. 
So how does this look with an eye toward the lunar tourism mission? Again, assuming that that mission takes place in late December of this year. It means that the rocket that will propel those passengers to the moon will only have been in operation for less than a year. And that is assuming that the test launch and all of the subsequent steps in the preparation for the lunar mission go as planned. Now that's a tight enough schedule to add to my skepticism about whether or not this mission will take place this year, but it's actually not as worrisome to me as the issues I touched on with the Dragon 2 spacecraft earlier. The Saturn V, which ultimately propelled nine Apollo missions to the moon, had only been in operation just over a year when Apollo 8 launched on December 21st, 1968. Apollo 8 was only the third Saturn V launch ever and it was the first to carry a crew. So a new rocket going from first test flight to successful lunar mission in one year might seem fast, but it's not unheard of. Still, there's one other aspect of this mission that gives me pause. It has nothing to do with the unproven spacecraft or launch vehicle or with the ambitious schedule SpaceX will have to meet in order to pull this off this year. Rather, it pertains to the nature of the mission itself. According to SpaceX, the two space tourists will be the only people aboard the Dragon 2 spacecraft. SpaceX has not released the names of the two people who have purchased passage on the Dragon 2 for this voyage to the moon, but they will not be astronauts in the conventional sense. They'll receive training in emergency procedures, but they won't be capable of operating the spacecraft with any real proficiency. Which should be just fine, assuming nothing goes wrong. The trajectory from Earth to the moon and back is relatively simple as far as those things go, and any mid-flight course corrections that may be necessary can be initiated by remote control from here on Earth. Even so, seeing as how this is the first human spaceflight to the moon since 1972, and the first deep space flight for the Dragon 2 spacecraft, I'd feel a lot better if there were at least one trained, experienced astronaut on board. And the Dragon 2 is large enough to accommodate up to seven people, so shit, why not? Look, I'm not trying to rain on SpaceX's parade here. If the Lunar Dragon mission does happen in 2018, no one will be happier to see that than me. Except probably Elon Musk. And the two lucky bastards who get to fly to the moon. If I were a betting man, I'd say 2018 will not be the year that humans return to the moon. But boy, that is one bet I would be happy to lose.